What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. In this video, I'm gonna show you the next sequence memory within the MPC-X, MPC-Live, and MPC-2.2. So what is the next sequence memory? Well, it's something that's running in the background that you might not already know about. It records the playback order of your sequences within the next sequence mode. So to demonstrate this, I've got a few sequences with a couple of breakbeats on there. So I'm just gonna jam them back in a random order and then I'll be able to export that to a song. So this occurs any time that you return to the next sequence menu. So now I've reset the slate and basically whatever order I play my sequences back in, something in the background is recording that and then it will allow me to export that exact order to a new song. So I'll demonstrate this now and I'll just be jamming between these sequences. You'll notice that I'll leave some of them running for a few bars and it will actually record the amount of times. Let's just go to the song mode and you can see that my first unnamed song here hasn't actually got any sequences inserted into it, which I can do manually from here. But if I copy song from the next sequence mode, you'll see this get populated and you'll notice that the loop in the middle of this top bar here is showing you how many times the sequences have looped over. So for as long as I let them continuously play, it will actually record that loop amount as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate this now with these five sequences that I've got. So this is a really handy way to construct your beats. You just basically jam them back and keep time in your head for as long as you're playing them so it makes sense within bar structure. So now I'm gonna press the song button and copy to song, and then we'll go to song mode. And now you can see that the new song has been populated with all those sequences and the amount of times that I let each one of those loop. This will occur even if the sequences are longer than the ones that I've currently got. All my sequences at the moment are just two bars. And now of course I can just press the convert to sequence button and convert that to its own self-contained sequence to keep things nice and orderly inside my project. So I'm gonna press do it. Let's now go to sequence six. And there you go, from song one, new song, 32 bars. So there's just a couple of points I wanna mention on the next sequence memory. It doesn't actually record the sudden movement. So when you press sudden, if you didn't already know, it just jumps immediately to whatever sequence you choose. Next bar will wait until the next logical bar to switch. It won't record those movements. So that's it guys, hope this has been helpful. This is Tube Digger and I'm out. 